Kenya Hara, not just a designer, but a philosopher of design. With every stroke of his brush and every space he curates, Hara weaves the deep tapestries of Japanese aesthetics into global consciousness. From the minimalist elegance of Muji to groundbreaking exhibitions, Hara doesn't merely design objects, he crafts experiences, igniting wonder and redefining our understanding of the ordinary. Emptiness, K. Drawing from traditional Japanese aesthetics, Hara often emphasizes the concept of emptiness or void. To Hara, emptiness isn't the absence of things, but rather a state of potential. It's a space that can be filled with experiences, imagination, or ideas. This is evident in his design works, where he often uses white space to invoke curiosity and encourage viewers to fill the void with their interpretations. The concept of K or emptiness is foundational in various aspects of Japanese culture, and it extends beyond just the visual arts. It's present in traditional Japanese gardens, architecture, and even martial arts. When Kenyahara refers to this idea in the context of design, he's tapping into a deep cultural and philosophical concept that has its roots in both Buddhism and Shint. For Hara, emptiness doesn't represent a void in the negative sense. Instead, it's about the infinite possibilities that lie in what seems to be empty or understated. It's similar to a blank canvas that holds endless potential for creation. By using emptiness in design, Hara invokes the viewer's innate curiosity. An empty design, or one that makes deliberate use of white space, invites the audience to engage more deeply, to ponder, and to fill in the gaps with their own imagination and experiences. It's a way of making the viewer an active participant rather than a passive observer. This philosophy contrasts with the often overloaded design styles in some cultures, where every available space is filled with information or imagery. Embracing emptiness, or K, demands more from both the designer and the observer. The designer must ensure that the limited elements in the design are impactful, and the observer is invited to think and interpret more deeply. In essence, Kenya Hara's emphasis on K is not just about aesthetics, it's about evoking a deeper emotional and intellectual response from those who interact with the design. Sense of wonder, Hara believes in the power of design to evoke a sense of wonder and discovery. This doesn't necessarily mean creating something new or novel but often involves making the ordinary feel extraordinary. For Hara, by altering one's perspective or presenting something in a fresh context, design can inspire or and wonder. Kenya Hara's emphasis on the sense of wonder is a fundamental aspect of his design philosophy. At the core of this philosophy is the belief that design should not be simply about fulfilling a function or answering a specific need. It should be a vehicle for eliciting emotional responses, invoking curiosity, and enriching human experience. Here are a few points to elaborate on this theme. Rediscovery of the ordinary, Hara often speaks about how, in our everyday lives, we become desensitized to the wonder that surrounds us. We often overlook the beauty and intrigue of everyday objects and experiences because of familiarity. Through design, Hara aims to make people re-see and re-experience the mundane in profound ways. By presenting common objects or ideas in unexpected contexts, design can trigger a renewed appreciation. Simplicity and depth, it's not about overloading a design with features or making it complex. Hara's designs often appear simple on the surface but hold deep meanings or functions. This design strategy encourages individuals to explore, question, and be surprised, leading to that sense of wonder. Design as an experience, for Hara, design isn't just about the physical or visual aspect of an object. It's about the entire experience an individual has with it. This encompasses everything from how one interacts with a design to the emotions and memories it evokes. A successful design, in this sense, would create a lasting impression and a deep sense of wonder that resonates with the user. Inclusive design, by creating designs that resonate universally and evoke a sense of wonder in a broad audience, Hara's approach is inherently inclusive. He seeks to tap into universal human emotions and curiosities, ensuring his designs are accessible and evocative for many. In many ways, Hara's emphasis on the sense of wonder challenges the conventional understanding of design as just a tool for problem solving. Instead, he positions design as a medium for storytelling, for creating emotional connections, and for celebrating the mysteries and wonders of life. Design as communication, for Kenya Hara, design isn't just about aesthetics or function, it's fundamentally about communication. 
he believes that good design communicates ideas, evokes emotions, and fosters understanding. This is evident in his projects and books where he seeks to not just design objects but to convey deep cultural and philosophical concepts. The concept of design as communication is another pillar in Kenya Hara's philosophy. He perceives design as a form of language, a medium through which complex ideas, emotions, and values can be communicated. Let's delve into some specifics. Beyond aesthetics, while aesthetics are undeniably essential, Hara's perspective on design goes beyond just creating visually pleasing objects. To him, every design choice, from color to form, has the potential to communicate a message, evoke a specific emotion, or reflect a deeper philosophy. Cultural representation, Hara is deeply rooted in his Japanese heritage, and his designs often draw inspiration from traditional Japanese aesthetics and values. Through his design, he communicates the essence of Japanese culture, making it accessible and comprehensible to a global audience. His design work for Muji, for instance, encapsulates the Japanese ethos of simplicity, functionality, and understated elegance. Educating through design, in his projects and exhibitions, Hara often assumes the role of an educator. For instance, in the Haptic exhibition, he introduced viewers to the idea of rediscovering the sense of touch in the modern, visually dominated world. Through design, he communicates the importance of our other senses and invites viewers to experience the world in a more tactile manner. Interactivity and engagement, Hara's designs often encourage active engagement. He doesn't just want viewers to look, he wants them to think, interpret, and react. In this way, the communication is two-way. The design speaks to the viewer, and the viewer, through their interpretation and interaction, completes the communication loop. Universality and specificity, Hara manages to strike a balance between universal appeal and cultural specificity. His designs resonate globally, but they also communicate distinct aspects of Japanese culture and thought. This balance ensures that his designs are both universally accessible and rich in depth. In essence, for Kenya Hara, design is not a passive tool but an active dialogue. Every design choice is an opportunity to share a story, to pose a question, or to invite reflection. This dynamic perspective positions design as a potent tool for shaping human thought, experience, and culture.